First reading, a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 7 to 14. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them making for themselves a molten calf and worshipping it, sacrificing to it and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked this people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them, then I will make you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he has brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth. Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The Word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel of St. John, chapter 5, verses 31 to 47. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf, and I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light, but I have testimony greater than John's. The works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works that I perform testify on my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures, because you think you have eternal life through them, even they testify on my behalf. But you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you, I came in the name of my Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise from one another and do not seek the praise that comes from the only God? Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father. The one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? This is the Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, 
the Lord Jesus has been performing signs and wonders still for all. Some people are not ready to accept the Lord Jesus who has been sent by God Almighty. And the Lord Jesus has come into the world in the name of the Father. And they are refusing to accept the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. And dear friends, on the other hand, we find here, they do not want to accept the Lord as the Messiah. And he is telling, if you believe Moses, you need to believe in me too. So my dear friends, Maybe as Christians, we tell, I am a follower of the Lord and I am a disciple of the Lord and I believe in the Lord. The Lord does not want to believe for, for us to believe in him, not in the way that we want to believe in him. We are asked to believe in him in the way the Lord wants us to believe, my dear friends. So I need to believe the Lord Jesus has been sent by God the Father in his name. And whenever he performs miracles, it is because he has been sent by God Almighty, he could perform such signs and wonders. I need to believe in this season of Lent, my dear friends, as we are getting ready, for the celebration of the Paschal mystery, the Lord Jesus' suffering, death and resurrection, I need to, in a special way, believe that the Lord Jesus is a living reality. I need to get into that mindset of the miracles regarding my life. The Lord is asking me not to remain as to where I am, but I need to take all the necessary steps possible for me to Yes, go forward in my faith journey. The Lord is asking me not to remain silent as a believer, but I need to be a disciple of the Lord. Believers remain there, but at one place, but disciples ask the one, ones who go out and tell the living presence of the Lord and they are, they are the ones who will make disciples from other people. So we are invited as disciples of the Lord to go out and witness to the Lord, to tell others we have Lord, in Lord Jesus a living reality and he is a living God and I can experience him all the time and he is there out for me all the time and he is able to heal me, deliver me and gives give me that healing touch and when I believe in him, he is going to do all what I need in my life. In that way, my dear friends, we are asked to extend our faith and to share our faith experience with others in the community. Amen.